Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful day here, about 77 degrees, lots of blue sky, patchy blue sky, really great conditions. Of course all the solar is up to float, <laughs> just the way we like it. All right, I've got the 48 volt battery balancer now. I went with the lead time balancer. It was a little over 60 bucks. And <clears throat> the reason I went with this was, uh, one, it was fairly reasonably priced. I did look at the Victron, uh, but it said I would need two and possibly three to tie in these batteries. So I decided I'd give the lead time a run. And since we've got a couple of lead time batteries tied into the mix, I figured it might be a good test of this. So this thing weighs about a half a pound. Pretty, you know, heavy feeling for the size, actually. And we'll just take a real quick look at a very bare bones product manual. Uh, it can be applied to a 24, 36, or 48 volt system. You do need to have at least two batteries tied in series to make uh, 24 volts. And it's got uh, four different leads coming off of it. One, or you know, positive and negative, positive and negative times four for four batteries. And let's see what some of this says. Impulse voltage range, three to 20 volts DC. Current draw when working, 0 to 10 amps. Current draw when in standby, 5 milliamps. Short circuit protection, yes. Reverse polarity protection, yes. Operating temperature is 0 or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, connection terminals, M8 ring terminals. Uh, dimensions, it's about 5.1 inches long two and a half inches wide and an inch, just over an inch thickness to it. Cable lengths are 19 inch cables, right at 19 inch for every cable. And then on the other side, this is all that it has is, you know, how to do it for 24 volts. You got two, how to do it for 36 volts. If you've got three batteries, 48, and then in series, which is what we're working with today, and then for series and parallel down there. And the only other thing that it says is to connect the batteries to the balancer in sequence, starting from the far left. So in, in this configuration, that's gonna be this one. They show far left being uh, in their diagram off where the positive will be connected. So we'll call this far left, and then we'll start there and then come to here, come to here, and then come to right here. So that's the way we're going to do it. It does not specify, uh, as I did see on another balancer, it specified to connect the positive first on all of them and then go and hit all the negatives. This one doesn't specify anything like that whatsoever. Um, but like if you were just doing two, you definitely want to use the two, these two, and if you're doing three, this one, and then we're going to be using four. So we're going to start with this one, call it our number one on this battery, number two, number three, and number four in the back. Now the only thing, <clears throat> this does not have any kind of a indicator light on it whatsoever to sh will show us that it is on and working so we're going to have to do you know a little uh, measuring of that and in reading the reviews of this thing you know a lot of people said yeah you just have to kind of trust that it's working put a multimeter on it keep track of it that way but a lot of people were suggesting boy it'd be nice to see a little indicator light on here i have to agree with that it'd be nice to see if it was a, just a light on that showed that there was you know a balancing effect happening but i think we're going to be able to figure it out so let's get this baby hooked up real quick and see what it does 
And I'll just mention that since I uh, last saw you guys in this experiment, when we did tie this up into series, it's just been sitting here at series, letting them sit there like that. There has been just the smallest uh, change in values along here, nothing, nothing crazy, but I'm gonna take a quick measurement on all of these, where they're at right now. I'll start with one, two, three, and four. We'll hook up the balancer and then we'll see if anything changes immediately and over time. Okay, on our number one, which is gonna be this, that cyclin bat battery, we got 13.44. Number two, right here, 13.27. Number three, 13.28. And number four, 13.31. So that's what we're starting with. No crazy differences, right? But we'll see how that all changes. And like I said, we're gonna not be running any power in or out for the initial test to see what happens. Now, one thing I wanna show you guys, and I'll see if I can duplicate it, and I don't know that I actually did anything, but I had the balancer laying right up here on that Red Odo battery, just sitting there, and the cables were draped across here, not making any contact with the rings or anything whatsoever. And while it was doing that, I did see this light flash on. So I don't know if that was just because these were laying on there. So let me just see if that happens again. So I've got these just sitting there. It might have just been an anomaly or something. I mean, this battery is on, but anyway, it did flash green for a moment. Now it's not doing it. So uh, I guess that was just a, you know, maybe a pulse every now and then that that does when it is on. Not really sure. Anyway, it's not happening now. Okay. <laughs> Trying to show you guys everything that happens along the way. And all of these leads are covered with some you know, silicone coverings, plastic. And this did also come with four mounting screws in case you uh, have the room and want to mount this up onto a wall or wherever, it does come with that as well. And that's it. And I would suggest just leaving those exactly as they are as you go one by one to hook everything up just so as that is happening you don't inadvertently make any contact between those so that's kind of nice because you've got eight leads to work with and they're kind of strung out and as you get them where you want them i would just go ahead and leave those covered and then just after you hook one up you can you know just slip it back a little ways or you can push it up a little bit in there if you choose to do that, just so you always have them there for, like when you disconnect, you can slip them right back over the rings. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I got all four of the positives. So they're coming off the number one position, going to this one, number two, down to our second one, number three, right here, I had to kind of wrap it around a little bit, right there. And then the last one on the number four position, kind of down and over. So now I'll go and hook up the, the negatives in the same order. And interesting, I did see this flash on, so I'm thinking that this just periodically uh, pulses on to show that it's on. If I was to sit here and watch it nonstop, that's probably what's happening. Okay, I just got the last one tied up. And the on button is on on this one now. So I'm assuming it's doing its thing. I verified, uh, of course, be, every step of the way, you gotta kinda pay attention with all of these wires. But yeah, we got those going to the number one. These going to the number two here. Of course, the three and the four. Exactly how uh, lead time showed in their diagram to hook these up in the specific order and it says no matter what size you're doing to do it in that specific order from the one two three and four so we did it exactly as it said we do have that indicator light on which is 
interesting. Okay, so let's see what the immediate voltages look like. Okay, I left what we started with so you guys can see. So that first one, which I'm going to test right now with these, just off the camera here, let's see what that cycling bat reads. 13.36, so there's a change. It was 13.44, right to 13.36 as soon as the balancer's hooked up. Let's go down to the number two battery, which has the light on. 13.29. Let's go to number three. 13.29. And let's go up here to our very last one. The number four. 13.31. Okay, so that's that one stayed the same so far. 13.31. Back down to the three. 13.29, and that was 2.8, so just a small change there. And let's go with three again. 13.29. So basically the same, but it's that cycling bat, the one that. So let's see one more time. 13.36. So that one changed the the most. So yeah, immediately. And I I mean I went within a. Uh, you know, a couple of minutes of this being tied up to getting these values. So, yeah, it seems to be working quite well. And interesting, that light is staying on. I don't have a problem with that. So, now that we know what it was initially, I'll come in and fill these spaces in on after balance after I let it sit a while. I'll let it go another hour or so, and then I'll come back in here and see how it's changed again. But... I believe it's working. Yeah, I would like to see a, a light on here, uh, just so you know it is, but it obviously is, because, yeah, this one changed the most. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. And I don't know in this configuration if I'm going to have enough room to mount this on the wall. I might move the things around a little bit to see if I can. But so far, yeah, I don't. Be nice to know how much uh, that thing's. You know what kind of power it's using, or if it's just you know pulled. Looked like it pulled most of the excess that was here off so far in its initial uh, distribution and balancing. But we'll keep an eye on it. So, yeah, that didn't take but just a few minutes. I mean, super, super easy to hook up. And, yeah. I believe it's working. So I think I've, I've got a 48-volt battery. <laughs> and that should be fairly well balanced. So now, you know, I need to hook up uh, the charger and get some power going in here. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to let this sit here all the rest of the day and night but now I think I'm ready to get on with why I built this in the first place okay I'm back up here I had to run and do something it's been 45 minutes guys and I just I can't wait to see it because it's working <clears throat> and it's working so well I, I'm I'm very very happy with this so okay let's go to the number one which is that cycling bat 13.31 and up here you can see we started at 13.44 before we attached the balancer so 13.31 let's go to the number two which is the lead time with the one touch control button 13.31 let's go to the number three which is the red odo 13.3 and another Lee time up here on the number four position 13.3 yes oh not even one hour 
right at 45 minutes and this battery bank is pretty well balanced yeah 13.3 number four 13.3 number three I'm gonna backtrack 13.3 number two 13.31. Boy, you can't complain about that. I'm super psyched. So, there we go. <clears throat> Within one hour. This is like one battery now, right? That's exactly what I was wanting. So now, I'm going to probably just leave it <clears throat> basically like this. Of course, I'll let it just, you know, the balancer will stay on it. Uh, we'll get the uh, charger that's going to be up here getting reviewed. I'll put it up in here somewhere. I might figure that out later. But anyway, uh, I got a 48 volt battery to work with. Yeah. Wow. So that that balancer is definitely doing the trick. And quite nicely, I will say. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, I did trust Lee Time. I have to say that their batteries and their products are so well built that I, I had a lot of confidence going into this. Like I said, I would have with the Victron as well. But since it was saying two or three to maybe tie up at about 50 bucks a pop, I decided to just try with one that was about $62, I think that was. I'll, I'll put it down there in case you guys are interested. But anyway... Man, I'm psyched up. I'm, I'm happy. And now, get on with other things. That is so darn close in 45 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, there's what we started with. I just have to document that because that's pretty impressive. So that was before the balancer was hooked up. And look at that. After 45 minutes. Nice. <laughs> Great. Alrighty. This has been a very fun experiment. I've learned a lot. And I really do uh, have to give you all a lot of thanks for uh, guiding me, encouraging me, and uh, helping me so much. And I'm going to get this video up here pretty quick and then I'm going to sit down and start contacting you guys because you take your time out of your busy day to help me and give me the greatest feedback and comments that I could ever hope for and I appreciate you all so much so yeah oh that's cool I'm so so relieved I you know I was told by so many of you that it yeah don't worry, get a balancer, do it, right? And look how fast that worked. That's what just knocked me out. I couldn't believe how fast I started seeing that change. I fully expect by morning when I come in here, they're going to read exactly the same. And right now they're so close to exact. You know, they really are exact. So anyway, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening just kicking back and talking to you guys. So... Aloha, as always. Made my way through the jungle. Catch you later. Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Fear not mixing up some batteries, right? Many of you told me that. Nothing to fear. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to show you why we did this.